give it up for Bob, everyone. Hey, everybody. It's great to be here. Oh, man. Um, you know, I, I, I was reading through the new employee handbook from HR, and uh, there's some words and letters that can get you get you fired. And today's letter, I'm going through the alphabet. Today's letter is the letter C. Yeah. Uh, who would have thought you get fired for words that start with a letter? <laughs> it's like human resources. It's like Sesame Street for insubordination. <laughs> there are words that, uh, that means, you know, uh, there are some of them that uh, can have double meanings, you know, like the word clutch, which you can find in a standard transmission which probably nobody remembers or has used in years. Uh, just me. Um, no one gets that. <laughs> uh, or a tight grasp or act of grasping something, as in she made a clutch at his body oh, oh. At, at work. And, you know, it's, it's better to settle for, uh, uh, you know, probably a stress ball or uh, <laughs> maybe uh, a beer, but, but not at work. I'm not condoning drinking at work. Um, caress. How you gently swipe through your touch screen and avoid leaving fingerprints of any kind or other or any evidence that you've been there at work. Mm -hmm. Contact. Ooh, contact. When your elbow accidentally brushes up against a co-worker's arm during the meeting. Ooh. As long as no other body parts touch, you're golden. Cling, I like Velcro. Uh, you know, it's what you do when you don't get that plum assignment you wanted. Grabbing the boss's leg like a toddler and not letting go. <laughs> <laughs> Having a major temper tantrum in the middle of the office, <laughs> not a good look. Or the word cradle. How you hold your coffee cup on a chilly morning because that's the only warm thing in your life. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> casual, oh, no casual days, or, or more importantly, no casual sex. <laughs> At work, well, since they changed the lock on the stockroom door, <laughs> again, <laughs> clutch, oh, the tight grasp you have on your desk during those stressful meetings, and, and you're just working from home today. <laughs> Oh, caution. The vibe you give off when working close with co-workers that are walking on eggshells, especially, you know, if you're working at home <laughs> with your significant other. <laughs> yeah. I gotta be quiet. That's why I'm not talking too loud. Well, <laughs> closeness, the uncomfortable feeling of being too close near someone in an elevator. Yeah. But it beats taking the stairs and hey, Oh, that's a nice perfume you're wearing today. It was nice sniffing you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, class, how you hold on to your phone, <laughs> lunch, and morals <laughs> during a company retreat <laughs> away from the office. And cuddle, the act of wrapping yourself in a blanket during the video conference. <laughs> Please, just put some clothes back on. <laughs> Cherish, oh, how you feel about your desk plant. <laughs> That's the only living thing you can touch during the workday <laughs> that doesn't talk back or report you. <laughs> Crave, oh, the yearning for a pat on the back, for a job well done. Like, you did good. You did really good. Okay, come on, everybody do it with me now. You did good. You did... <laughs> Really good. You're all doing great today. Come on, do it. <laughs> you did good. You did really good. <laughs> Thank you for participating. Um, caution, the mental note you make when someone invades your personal space, like the other day. No, the stapler is not in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Contact, the act of touching or communicating with someone. I may phone them, text them, not hug them repeatedly. <laughs> Don't be physical, physical. <laughs> come on, come on, where's Rich? He could sing. I know he can sing. <laughs> Let your body talk. 
Bodies <laughs> are. Oh, yeah. See, HR is filled with rules, you, and you need to pay attention. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to going to the big corporate cuddle conference convention in Las Vegas. We're going to take research and development, accounting, and the legal team, and everyone's going to send sign a consent form. It's a definition of the word bonding. Well, well, my time's up, and I better sign off here because human resources may fire me. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. <clears throat> All right. Give it up for Bob, everyone.